keep playing. Hope that they stop the concentration on this end. Doerfeld gets to 2-0. Oh. Pearson is open, lets the three-pointer go, knocks it down, and it's a four-point game. Look at that dribble. 6-9. <laughs> oh, it's it a John. Oh, 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 oh. John! First half, they said, take the second half off. Good composure by Iowa State. Gamble. Alexander free on the baseline. Changes hands and scores. And the Iowa State Cyclones coming out of the Maui Classic where they were beaten two times in three tries. He puts a pretty good spin move on the defender but has the ball tipped away and recovered by Iowa State. Quickly down the floor for the drive. The shot is up and it's good. What big teeth too, I guess. <laughs> Here's a jump shot. Good for Chappelle. Out with the ball and he does to Brian Pearson. Up ahead it goes. Chappelle on the baseline. Give it to Victor Alexander. Score. Good catch in from the ball game for the Houston Cougars from three-point range. And they've averaged 25 three-pointers in each of their first two games. A good move on the big now. Collins trying to get Fernandez airborne with a head fake. Couldn't plays inside, and the jump hook by Alexander goes for his second. Early when they did not get back on defense, Iowa. Here's Pearson looking for the open man. He finds it in Collins. Way outside, he drills a three. Collins does not shoot a lot of three-point. Quickly, and here come the Cougars. Daniels driving and stripped of the ball. Right to Tehrani puts it in, and the Cougars have their first. That's real good defense by Byron Smith. Chappelle misses, but a fine follow shot. By Pearson's done a nice job picking Daniels up in that transition. Tehrani got loose. Hello. A blind pass going to Smith. And a steal. He got it back. He slammed it in. And Take care of Matt. Hold to a 16 15 point win. Obviously, our Diet Pepsi player of the game is Alvaro Taylor. That's his first two points of this tournament, Marty. Did not score last night. There's a steal by Lynch. Lynch will slam it home. And North Carolina. It was last touch. Apparently, 18 point North Carolina lead with just under five minutes remaining in the half. Big Ben for three, and he's put on a pretty good shoot. was certainly deceived. Lynch was in front of New York. Makes it 52 to 31. Alexander spinning and late. A good idea. He tried to bounce feed one inside to Salvadori. Pearson with a rare shot. And he made the most of it. It's one way to stunt to come back. I'm telling you. 60 to 38. Slam dunk at the other Coliseum, North Carolina. Can't let Victor Alexander catch now, hey, for their second 100 point game of the season. The three by Pearson again. He's hit four away. It'll be Lynch. It will be Lynch. Performance by North Carolina to take consolation honors, beating Iowa State 118 to 93. Now Kenny Harris has it knocked away, gets it back, and the horn sounds to wrap it up.
Metcalf turns, doesn't hit it, rebound, Alexander. Oh, Big Vic just sucks it out of the air one-handed. Pearson had a great night in Charlotte, and he's on fire here. Well, that's something he Picks. Biggest gopher lead of the night. Coach, nice move. Good step through by Phil. Here's a McDonald. Here come the Gophers, three on two, Lynch. Again, a good pass. The feed made at the right time. First, this time it comes out to McCoy with a three on two. Feeds off to Chappelle, easy layup. Good fill by Mark Chappelle. Picked out of his hands, and Victor comes down with it. Ahead to Collins. No doubt about those. She comes into the game with a 19 average. Pearson for three. Oh, boy, downtown. Collins, Minnesota will have the chance for the last bucket of the half. Blocked by Kuntz, rebounded by Enzigma Zabo. Well, I'll tell you, Minnesota get the other at halftime because they've blown a lot of opportunities with fancy plays. Well, you all... And the biggest lead of the game for the Gophers, there 10. Is. Alexander gets the score and the foul. As long as they put on court baseline, Collins back to Justice. Collins for three. Bingo! It's two. Two. Only two, they say. Man, Lynch with a dump pass. They don't get it, but Lynch with the offensive. Frosting on the cake for the Gophers. Jason again. That's a new 4-0, and oh, Iowa State to 1-5. and five. Make it 84-70. The Minnesota Gophers go to 4-0, oh, Iowa State to 1-5. Put it up there in the high arching lot. Where we're sitting, you could hear Kuhn slap it. Alexander inside, first easy basket for Victor of the night. He Guys, match up against uh, Coons and Victor Alexander. Oh! Make bounds without being touched by anybody else. Uh, the clock is not reset on the shot clock. Almost looks like a matchup zone here right now by Iowa State. Tell you what, it's down to Chappelle. Works in traffic, kicks it to the corner to Collins for three. Well, bounces one off the side of the glass. Four seconds, three seconds. Sublet banks it in. To the half, same thing happened in the Minnesota game. It's 40. Victor gets it to the high post and hits the 15-footer. Sean Jackson just let it go, and it resulted in a Baylor break. I mean, this is just... Ball game. Full court pressure, and the steal by Pippen. Good anticipation that time for Brad. McCoy inside oh. to Victor, nice feed. There, rebound, fought for, banged outside again. And the three for Don. He might have got a break there. <laughs> Looked like he might have got a foul. And they've been starting to hit. And that's the final buzzer. It is over in Waco. And the final score, the Baylor Bear. And that's the final buzzer. It is over in Waco. And the final score. Please, they won it two last year. Open, Dorfell, and the Cyclones regain the lead. Known for his aggressive play by the team. Leading the break for the Cyclones, Doug Collins. Bringing it down quickly for Iowa State. Cyclones up eight to four. The three, nothing but four for Doug Collins. He's he able to use his one-on-one -on -one moves, and Iowa State is yet to miss. Five for five. Make and it six for six. six. Yeah. Dorfell takes it to the baseline, and the Cyclones still have not met. Barnes hits his first two, misses that one. Alexander, who got 11 rebounds against the Hawks last year with another, and Collins scores again. Iowa State has now missed six in a row. Big Ten tries to change that and does. Wilson will bring it up. Underneath, it's Alexander muscling in. He is fouled by Tubbs. The shot will count, and Alexander has got his first two for the game. Mark Chappelle, junior college transfer from Lincoln Junior College in Illinois.
Alexander, his presence to Alexander, again a rebound. Collins doing a good job flagging down the pass. Perhaps a little, but Collins was able to reach minutes to go in the first half. Iowa State leading at 35-30. Scoreboard been stuck there for a while. The Pearson unsticks it with his second three-pointer of the game. Go the full length of the court on the dribble. We're all from what we would consider out of yeah. the range, but not this time. AC it's there, Brad Lowhouse. Boy, that gets the Hawks for us to see if he can get that foul. He's moving around a lot, and Alexander not necessarily following him as Val Barnes hits from three. Pearson against Skinner. What a matchup that is. Former high school teammates, Alexander again wheeling inside of Earl. And Alexander rebound is taken down by the Cyclones. Big pen all the way for the layup. His first basket of the second half. An example right there. The door fell misfires, and the ball goes in. Impression I have of Val Barnes. If there's any way he can play, he will. He's a tough young man. The three pointer can by Bright. Alexander is fouled by Earl. Alexander is. Baseline. Barnes knows it's the only chance he has against a 6 8 player to try and take that charge. And Dor he, Dorfeld's gone. Shot clock's at 8. Bergman will take it with a shot clock at five. The three by the big guy. Mike Bergman. At we'll look for that three-point shot. Barnes for three. It's tied up. Oh, oh. He triggers it. Iowa has two times. Iowa. Here is Val Barnes for the game winner. The tip is good by Rodell Davis at the horn. And the Hawkeyes have won. It is a win. I was waiting to see if the officials we're going to count it or not. Hawkeyes win it on the tip. Val Barnes missed shot.
to three. It's seven two Wolverines. Pearson gets his first shot of those. Oh, we're told there to hold up. It looked like if he penetrates, he's got a two on one. Three on one. Jackson back to Vic. He lays it in. Gets the foul. It'll count. And we talked about boards in the top of the show too, and that's part of your defense, limiting another team. And uh, offensive boards are hurry of the game. And let me tell you what he's done over the last four ball games, Mark Caleb. He has hit 16 three-point shots over the last four games, an average of four. Now, Iowa State has got to get back, and they've got to get on the boards. That's the two things that are killing this game for Iowa State right now. Big Pan in the door foul, and Paul with his first two of the. Is a shooter. Watch your him. He can shoot it outside. Big Ben bounce pass into the paint to Alexander. He gets it and draws the foul. Count it. Six for the hands of Big Ben. Here's a three on two. Big Ben pulls up with a fadeaway. Iowa State has really been getting beat on that offensive board. Collins for three. Count it. Collins with his first field goal today. This is Hester, who hasn't uh, seen any action to speak of, uh, probably a couple, three minutes. He's the only guy there. It's a natural center. Caleb keeps him. Caleb's really turned into a player. He came to Michigan really without a pedigree and has just developed into a fine ball player. Dorfell from 15, his fourth point of the ball game. It's 31 26. Iowa State traveling, uh, trailing by five and cut that down to three now. It's Sean Jackson. One for Iowa State. Easy, easy. Dorfeld in the paint. One hands it up and in. Nice move. And the thing that he did nice right there, so often Paul will. They're holding their own on the boards a lot better. Getting some block shots. McCoy. Nice pass. Inside to Jackson and credit McCoy with the assist. And we'll go into the halftime locker room with the edge, but Chappelle steals it. He'll take it from way outside. Doesn't hit it. Had to. Time was running out. But Johnny Orr's Cyclones go into the halftime locker room up by one. And you've got to like the fight of a team that has lost eight straight. Wow, the Hilton Magic is back. They go against uh, Mitchell. Well, Sean Jackson comes out. Good oh, pass. Nice pass to Norman Brown, and he gets it. There again, he beat his man. A little penetration too. Here's the give and go to Vic. He lays it up. Doesn't hit it the first time, but the second time there. A good second effort by Victor Alexander. That comes out. McIver back in for Michigan. Big pen open just inside the three. Boy, he did a nice job of gathering him to glass. He's Big got him pen. open. Good oh, luck. nice pass. Oh, and a shot. Count it. And he's fouled. Woo. So you could see that open. I'm in it on how, more, how much more disciplined he was in the first. Now he's letting it fly. But as long as he keeps draining him, he can do it. That's 12. That, uh, that play right there, that could be big. And then Collins kicks it away. Three on none. And Michigan has regained the lead. He's got a trailer, but doesn't use him. Now he does. Pearson inside the door fell. He lays it off the glass and in. Boy, Pearson was tempted. He wanted to. Jackson gives it in to Alexander. Pull the finger roll. And Big Vic with 15 in the game. For Caleb, I believe that's a new career high. Alexander clogged up in the middle, but oh. still hits it. He has got the good hands. I'll tell you, that's it. Sean Jackson having his best day as a Cyclone. Eight points in the ball game for Jackson. Not on yourself because you got it down to a two-point game. Might have away with a watch. Victor with the reverse and oh. still gets it. 21 for Big Vic. The other way with a three-on-two. Pearson for three. Collins with a follow. Bobbles it, puts it up left-handed and gets the roll. And some action there and finally Iowa State. For rebounds like that. Bounce pass into Collins. Oh, what a play! Coming down on the secondary break, coming to center for Michigan. Scoreless in the game. Dorfell doesn't get it. Norman Brown is there. On their feet in Hilton Coliseum to the Raptors. <laughs> Good Say anything. This place speaks for itself.
have to say is what defense are in. You know it's man for man. Alexander, first shot of the game. And tipped in by Nolan Brown. When we go back a little ways, uh, when I was with Phillips, I played against his Ohio State team he's playing, and he was with the Akron Goodyear. A lot of those kids up there in trouble. Gets it into Alexander, and he's trapped. Back to Thigpen, and he'll launch the little five-footer and hit it. Good little up fake their press and see what they're doing with Indiana. If they come after him tough or if they're just trying to play soft. Fourth point of the game for Big Ben. Well, you hit it at that three-pointer gone in. Uh, it would have came alive. Oh, what a pass from Alexander to Collins. And he one-hands it in and draws the foul. An easy basket. Take the pressure off of him. Inside, Alexander should have it. Boy, how did that stay in? He gets the roll and the foul. Norman Brown also back in the lineup now. Here's Victor against Lawson. You see, that, that's deadly, that play. I think he's clear away from him. Kind of really shutting off the inside game. Chappelle. Oh, what a, oh, what a play! Woo. Out on the court. Three. Norman Brown in there trying to post up. Collins for three. You're looking at the game clock. Bottom right-hand corner. That's time remaining first half. Dorfell gets the roll and the foul. Inside, Alexander finds Brown. Oh, Norman Brown just explodes off that floor. And that's a three. Ooh, almost a bad pass, but instead it's two. As Alexander powers to get it back to ten. There's a steal, put it out ahead. Well, he's going to take it himself. I remember him missing the Cyclones. Inside, Cheney. Ooh. Like about lately, uh, the last four ball games at least, is that he is rebounding horizontally instead of just vertical. He is really going after the ball. It's all but over. 87. Congratulations and good luck. I'll talk to you later. All right. Tourney time in Tucson, and Johnny Orr tried another new lineup against Temple. And the new starting five of Alexander, Brown, Jackson, Collins, and McCoy responded early. Especially the point guard, true freshman Skip McCoy. And he hits it. McCoy with his second three-pointer of the game. But All-American Mark Macon brought the Owls back, finishing the first half with this jumper. Macon going one-on-one -on, -one on Chappelle, gets around him, launches, and gets the roll. And Mark Macon. With his 11th point of the ball game. In the second half, it was time for the stars to shine. Victor Alexander pours in 30 for the Cyclones. 11, and Alexander dumps it in. While Mark Macon counters with 26 owl points, but it was Macon's miss from the line that allowed Iowa State's Paul Dorfeld to send the game into overtime. 15 seconds to tie. Got plenty of time. Dorfeld takes it from the corner, hits it. It's only for two. Time still running. Temple can't stop the clock. Two, one. We may have overtime. We do. We do. From there, it didn't get any better for Temple coach John Chaney. Alexander continued to lead the Cyclones. Ahead to Collins. Back to Victor. Nice feed by Collins. He said we haven't seen many fast breaks in this game, but Iowa State gets one right when they need it. But Temple would get one more chance. In the final seconds, Paul Dorfeld misses a pair of free throws. Temple cannot stop the clock. Eight seconds left to play, no timeouts remaining. This one here causes Temple to go for three. Oh, and I think don't foul. Yep, you can't foul. You got to make him shoot it in. Make him looking at the clock. He's going to dribble it. Away. It's a three. And Iowa State has won it. The Cyclones pick up their biggest road win in recent memory. Reporting for the Johnny Orr Show, I'm Keith Murphy. championship Saturday night. Television Network.
Any use of the pictures or accounts of this telecast without the expressed written permission of Iowa State University and the Cyclone Television Network is expressly forbidden. And the turnovers are dead even now at three as Lute Olson sits down and here comes Arizona. Wow, Chris Mills. Brooks. And Mulebach. Chappelle. Finally finds Alexander for the easy two underneath. Good job of going without ball. Uh oh. Almost yeah, blindsided. Call. And call. Dorfell. He gets a three. Pearson. Oh, yes. Way to come back, Brian. Sick or not, flu or no. Justice. Good hustle by Iowa State. Oh, nice pass. Collins to point away from Iowa State. I don't know how, but at halftime, officially, according to the spot in the second half, but otherwise it's Collins and McCoy, Dorfell and Victor, and a great move by Dorfell. Boy, he lost his legs. And the rebound cut down by Rooks. Mulebach, nice pass to Mills. Beautiful pass. Good execution on the fast break. Oh, nice pass. Pearson to Coons. Bad pass picked off by Aaron. Oh, what a move. Mills. Oh, my. Well, he has turned it up a notch here in this second. Arizona really has a home streak going here. Alexander lays it up and in. And Victor with 19 in the game. The door pass. fell to Pippet. Off the glass and in. Motion, 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 motion. Coons with the turnaround. And oh. Dorfell goes up and stuff. The, the last score of the game doesn't get it. Get a shot, Hester. Thigpen takes it. He'll hit it. That counts. Give Thigpen 16 in the ball game. But it is now history. 102-77. The fourth-ranked Arizona Wildcats. We'll be back with more in just a moment. Out front. Alexander. Oh boy, top of the, the foul on Mays that time is uh, in the skirmish. A lot of guys were grabbing. Alexander was so wide open he couldn't believe it. Doesn't get it down. Good nice pass. speed inside of Ravelin. Blocking off that shoot at basketball. Prilo can't get it. Rocket pass down, and Iowa State with excellent transition. Well, Keaton. Now Rudy Washington has five subs up ready to come in, but this group now scoring some points. Maybe he'll come to have him sit down. Oh, nice dump off. Collins to Alexander, and it isn't tied for long. Alexander. Well, they got numbers again. Three on one. Big pan alley oop to Collins. That will get the crowd going, and the crowd in it for the first time, really, in tonight's ballgame. Drake doing a good job pressuring the ball. McCoy good into luck. Coons just before the buzzer. And even though Iowa State led last time, Drake won here at Hilton the Coliseum was 79. And Alexander hammers it home. But you notice that with the inside the Coons turn, soft touch gets the roll. Pull it down or something. Just throw a shot in two games, has he here? Oh, nice pass. Collins to Brown, who stuffs it in. Sorry. Rejected by Kuntz, saved by Thigpen. The Good crowd's on. in it now. Oh, nice touch pass. Now the side, oh, but he doesn't, just simply bats it away. Here's the fast break. Door fell off the glass, not there, but Alexander with a great tip in. Boy, you show him. Away, picked up by Thigpen. Here's a four on one. Good pass back. And it's Victor who buries it. And then the offensive rebound. Dorfell, Thigpen, Collins. Hello, good night. Oh, she's over. Great kids. Oh, nice pass into Dorfell. Turns and banks it in. Then a little extra arch. This is just did that for my mentality. <laughs> Didn't think he could handle that change, huh? Rudy just goes over and shakes Johnny Orr's hand right now. And nice gesture. And 
Rudy Washington also gets a nice hand and so does Victor Alexander as he comes out of the. First big eight encounter 1991 and Alexander's shot rebounded by McCoy back to Dorfeld and Iowa State's on the board. Four points on Iowa State's part. Rebound by Dorfeld. There's a long pass. Oh, Pearson oh. finds Victor Alexander, and there's why Brian is so valuable. Great assist. Tony Walters with the first three of the ball game. And Alexander beats the Buffalo. On tap loose, picked up by Colorado. Walters in his spot, and he's on fire. Walters has got the rhythm now. Lane break, they're running Cody Walters down the right side every time for that three-point shot, just like that. Oh, Cody Walters with his third three-pointer. To the basket, they're running him on the break for the three-point shot. And Iowa State, penetration by McCoy, and the dump off to Dorfeld. McCoy, wide open to Coons. We need to do that more often. Yeah. Iowa State can score. Game for you right here on most of the same Cyclone Television Network stations. And Saturday to Nebraska. But Victor Alexander is. Westbrooks does it. 25 seconds to go. Collins takes the shot early and hits it. Wise going to go one on one. Free throw line jumping by Wise. Not there. Alexander down with the rebound, but it's halftime. And the first half has belonged entirely. First three of the night for Stevie Wise. And it's back to a 19 point advantage. Fast. Dorfell hammers it all. He hasn't scored in two games prior to tonight. Hasn't scored tonight. Fast break. Wise. Wow. Nice block. Norman Brown ahead to Collins. Nice block. Nice speed. There's teamwork. Really a very so Iowa State stays on the road. Here's Collins. He gets it. It's a three. Here in Colorado, the Buffaloes lead 82-59 over Iowa State. And Victor Alexander just rammed home two more. Is accurate, I'm told. Oh, nice open pass. Dorfell. Really good look from Victor Alexander to see a man under the basket. Three-point land. Johnny Terrell. Boy, they're all hitting him. That's for Iowa State. Joe Harrington meets Johnny Orr for the very first time. And Joe Harrington is going home the winner. Colorado wins it 105 to 81. the club moving and the tempo of the game is already picked up. Big pen, baseline, swish. Boy, Iowa State. Creighton that time, nothing off the offensive board, but uh, Iowa State will not be able to continue to let them pound that offensive board or they'll pay for it. Coons with a nice teamed up top. Victor from 15, swish. Alexander with eight. I, I don't think, I think he's handled it pretty well so far. Is Pippen. Rebound back up Alexander. Count it. And he's fouled. For Harstad. Here's Victor. Harstad turns him loose and Victor dumps it in. See, this is what I felt like Gallagher. 2 to go first half. Oh, nice feed. Pippen to Coots. Boy, that's a tough shot. And blocked by Brown. McCoy down to Collins. Lane. It's tied again. Beautiful move by Collins. I said Cole, a good shooter, shooting 49% from three point range, 52% overall. And Skip McCoy. But then Harstad loses it. Back to Brown, and he lays it in. So the turnover goes both ways. He's looking for Norman. Darren Plotz, and just that quickly, Creighton right back into it. A five point lead is, well, now back to three. It in. Cole batted away by Collins, and what a rejection! Big pen. Oh, he hits it. Big turnaround right there, Brown. 
inside. There's where they drop the ball. That's where you want to go. They're going to play you man for man. Big battle goes on inside between Alexander and Gallagher. Epps into Victor. Back to McCoy. He's open. He takes it. He hits the three. Blocked by Alexander. Breakaway. This may be the play to seal it. On the glass. Oh, well, he takes a chance and dunks it. The shot was made. Oh. Down court, Big Ben should have it. Your stat, but uh, Creighton was uh, something like 30 up there. That's Plotz, his fifth. Rolling. Here comes Cole. He gets it. It's over. 97-88. And Johnny Orr has finally got to taste the thrill of victory with the play. State is going to win it here tonight. There's no way now. And the Cyclones know it. To our score, the Cornhuskers with a six-point lead. Iowa State with the basketball. Collins goes for three and nothing but net. Oh. You look at Brad Pitt for Iowa State. And then Big Ben tried to get it inside to Brown. Off his shoulder, no good. Reed gets by Victor. Good job by Reed right there. Unselfish play. He's wide open for the shot. What oh, a good move, move. yeah. Collins. Between the legs, up and in. Trying to get the ball into Victor Alexander. Thigpen loose on the wing, and Thigpen two. And Thigpen has been scoring as the latest king. Who's playing very, very well. Publicity and hype we've been getting. Uh, we need to get refocused. We have been playing as well as we should. Oh, that's a drive by Chappelle. Get into Victor. And he gets grabbed. And we'll see if they count the basket. It shows you the strength of him. Blocked by Pankoska to be careful with three fouls. Ramos to King, again, and he's fouled. Tremendous passing by the basket. Coons, third straight basket bucket for Phil Coons. Who are you out so you don't have your shooting legs under you? Coons again, count the basket and he's King says he traveled. It was a funny move. They had all those turnovers and yet they trailed. It's interesting to watch Thick King. There's Alexander, great pass inside. Looks like everybody's standing around. How many Hayes has, and he now has 17 for the game, and Collins goes for three, and he's got it. Thigpen is going to say, a left-handed player, but if you watch him, he shoots it right hand, getting a hand right in his face. Three on two for the Cyclones. Alexander, nice move from McCoy. Good job by Coons over King, nice move. Phil Coons, what does he have an outlet to Reed? Reed got it! Iowa State, good pass. And oh. Victor gets the basket up strong. It's great hands, but you don't want to be going up over the backs. Oh, nice pass. Oh. Hey, easy, easy jam. Count the basket. Coons With Gary Thompson, I'm Dave Armstrong in Lincoln, Nebraska, the Bob Devaney Center. Iowa State using their last timeout. But only uh, 9.5 seconds to go in this one, and then we're going to send you to Columbia. State has been rather hot as we alluded to at the start of our show. Great shooting inside. Victor with the jam. Mark. One, two, two zone pressure. Iowa State down with the three on two and Thick Pen makes him pay. You know, just the stick for it. Oh boy. Blocked by Alexander. Pass ahead to Collins. It's him. Well, Doug Collins left to zone trap. Good ball movement there to get this open three-point shot. That's Hill. Top of that zone, they got, let's see, now they look like they float back in. They just shoulder one-three-one and go back to two-three. 
And McCoy, wide open, drills the three. I think he's got about four rebounds. He's only been in there a couple of minutes. Collins for three. He's turned a lot of confidence in so There it is. Cooch, Cobbett, and he'll get the foul. Time here in the first half. He's got seven, but Collins is lighting up the three. His second. Big Ben will launch the second to last shot, perhaps, of the half. Oh, it in at the buzzer. It'll count, and there's a foul. And Doug Collins with 12 to that uh, low post. Alley oop to Victor. Same the side. Same pass that I'm talking about. Doesn't matter which side. Steal by Pippen. Ahead to Thigpen. In and out, but tipped in by uh, Pippen. Well, as you mentioned about Pippen, the front. Hill started to go to the baseline cut, and uh, Pippen cut him off. Let's see what happens here. He's got his going for that slam. Doug likes that going for that left. And the Flames is that three point shot. Hill with 13 points. Coos at the high post. Turns and dumps it in. Boy, is he feeling good. been with pretty much for several games. Collins, 4-3. Wildcats, they're picking up with soft pressure, full court, and they're trying to slow Iowa State down. Take time off the clock, slow the game down. Nice pass, Brown goes up. Will the basket state? Prior to that shot, 3 of 6, 50%. Iowa State, 80%. Collins for his second three of the night. And you can feel that right now that Collins wants the ball. He was Big pen for three. Penn State man for man. They've tried different defenses. Can't slow Iowa State down. There's they got a two. Uh oh, it's one on one. Collins with a steal. Left hands it up. Count it. Ball game. Like I said, this is always a hustling ball throw. Iowa State's lead cut to three. Now it's back to five as Victor gets a little garbage. Outside, Ziegler. Uh, what they want to do. Now they drop back into a 3-2. Collins, and just like the game before, Collins drives in. Oh, and Dana Alpen in their first meeting are tied at 41. The state out rebounding Iowa State in the first half by four. Pippen, long range, three-pointer for eight shots in the first half to Iowa State's 24. Collins, long range, he hits it. And then when you do, you can't make him. Collins, oh boy. Boy, is he on fire again. Wires, quite a dish off to Howard. He'll turn and gets the roll. And Wiley, 362, 12 and a half minutes to play. Inside the Vic, who slams it home. There he came off defensively, made him shoot it in. Three pointer for Marcus Ziegler. Pin off the offense right there, but I'd rather see him getting it within the offense and not on his own right now. That was a great play by Iowa State right now. Their fans are hoping the Cyclones can crawl a couple in here and get back in the lead. Big good place to go. 21. I would try and pressure someone the ball if it gets them. Only shot. Wires. Oh, they, don't, they didn't call anything on the foul, and Dana Altman is hot. And Dana Altman is hot. But Iowa State wins his first Big 8 basketball game of the season. 
Boy, Dana Altman, he wants to get rid of that basketball. That was behind the three-point line. It had been a three 